Good morning. What a privilege it is to be able to be with you once again here at the beginning of the week. And um, today our scripture reading um, comes with an instruction. So we need to listen carefully. <laughs> our scripture reading comes from Matthew 28 verses 19 and it reads as follows. Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Teach these new disciples to obey all the commands I have given you. And be sure of this, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. So our theme for listening to God in the time of crisis brings us with a topic today, um, which is a call to evangelism. I want to start off with a question. So where is mission and evangelism, that is sharing the news of Jesus with others, on your list of priorities? If it isn't high on your list, why is that so? And what would happen if it was high on the priority list? So if we look at our lives from the time we are born to the time we die, we grow because there was someone or something in our lives always sharing information, constantly. This information gave us skills, skills as simple as crawling or walking or learning how to talk. It brought clarity. When we were at school, if we didn't ask questions for clarity purposes, we would not have been able to understand the information given to us. Information is also sharing of wisdom, of knowledge. That which we have received through experiencing of life is shared to others as well. This is all vital stuff that we listen and we hear throughout our lives. The same comes when it is to our spiritual lives. If someone did not share the news of Jesus with us, we would not have known. The way it was shared with us often molds how we see or respond to Jesus. But listening to him depends, of course, on your encounter. If there has not been an encounter with Jesus and merely just something of head knowledge, the desire for sharing this knowledge will not be on the list of priorities for you. So human history was rescued. Human history was given hope through the news of Jesus' death and resurrection. And if it was not for those faithful disciples who witnessed it and had an encounter with the resurrected Jesus, then that is where the story would have ended. However, their encounter with the resurrected Jesus jogged their memory of all the times that they sat and listened, the times that they were taught and by Jesus himself. And now it was their turn to share this knowledge, to share this encounter, to share this good news. Their encounter with Jesus was of such profound, um, exp it was such a profound experience that they would have done it even if it cost them their lives. We cannot keep an, our encounter with Jesus a secret. It is for all to hear. It is our responsibility to share the good news of Jesus with others. You would not have heard it if you were not told in the first place. Information sharing is one thing, but when we share information with passion, with, with a drive, and especially experience of encountering the information, being Jesus Christ, it is then that it becomes evangelism, ignited by the power of the Holy Spirit. Evangelism shared, the good news shared, is part of listening to God in the time of crisis because it brings hope and an indescribable joy, no matter what the circumstances are. The world out there is hurting. It is hungry. It's looking for information. It is looking for places of hope. And of course, the world is dying because the information that they are getting is not life-giving. They need to hear the best news ever. Paul said in Galatians 2 verses 20 that when he discovered that the Son of God loved him so much 
and gave himself for him. That was when everything changed. He could not keep it to himself. And he wanted everyone to know that Jesus loves them. He wanted everybody like you and, and me. Paul himself needed to know that Jesus loved him because it was and remains a life-changing experience. God-given piece of information that needs to be shared it's not something that we need, want or should be keeping for ourselves. As people search for the purpose of life, the only information that will make the difference is when we share Christ's news with them. The Holy Spirit prepares us to receive this good news. And if we tell others, if we do as we are asked, if we listen to the call to make disciples, this crucial information will come and change lives. When we were young and we were taught how to walk or talk, how to eat, what is right and wrong, this shaped us to be the best humans we can be. But until life is experienced through the good news of Jesus Christ, nothing makes sense. Nothing has purpose. Let us become the disciples we are called to be. I know that that is a call upon each and every Christian's life and it is something that we promote because it is what we are called to do. God will prepare the hearts that we are given and he will prepare the ears to listen. We need to share this news. We need to share this gift that we have been given in order to give others lives and in their lives an opportunity to be transformed through the work of God. They in turn will be given the same instruction to go and make disciples. Now that you have heard, now you need to go and make disciples of, um, of others. So Matthew 28 verses 19 says, teach these new disciples. Why should we teach new disciples? Well, we were new disciples. And that instruction was given to us so that we can pass it on to others. May the good news of Jesus Christ, the risen Christ, be upon our lips at every opportunity to allow others to have a changed and transformed life. Come, let us pray. Heavenly Father, as you place this call upon our lives, it is not empty, it has purpose. Dear Lord, and as we listen to this call, especially in the time of crisis, Dear Lord, may our words not just be empty knowledge of, of the head or what we've read somewhere, but may it come from an encounter with you. As we encounter you in each and every day, as we listen to your voice, as we listen to your guidance, as we listen to your love, as we listen to the Holy Spirit, continually confirming us as your children. Dear Lord, may, we, may our hearts burn for that call to evangelism to tell others about the same good news. Share, dear Lord, not only in words, but in passion, dear Lord, as we share the encounter we have had with Christ so that others may desire that same encounter. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Go and be disciples. We have been called, it has been our command that has been given to us to go and make disciples. And as we do that, so we share the news of Jesus Christ, the risen Lord. Have a good week.